overall goal of this procedure is to show how to prepare primary cells dissociated from Drosophila embryos for RNAi and cell imaging analysis. This is accomplished by first preparing fly cages. Synchronous embryos are then collected, washed, and homogenized to dissociate the cells. The primary cells are then plated and transfected with RNAi constructs. Ultimately, results can be obtained through immunofluorescence microscopy that show the effects of RNAi on differentiated primary cells. My name is Norbert Perimont. I'm a professor in the Department of Genetics at Harvard Medical School and an investigator of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. Uh, so today, uh, uh, Jonathan Dirim, a postdoctoral fellow in the lab, as well as uh, Jen Wu Bei, a former postdoctoral fellow in the lab, are going to introduce to you the technique of, uh, of generating primary cells from Drosophila gastrula or Drosophila embryos. Uh, so the uh, technique is important for, as a number of uh, for a number of applications in the cell and developmental biology, and in particular, as uh, Jen Wu showed a few years ago, the methodology can be used to, uh, for genome-wide RNA screens in, uh, in primary muscle cells. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like the analysis of established immortalized cell lines, is that primary cell culture more accurately reflects the biology of the organism. Generally, individuals living to this method will struggle because several steps cannot be simply learned by reading the protocol. To prepare killed yeast paste, first grind granule live yeast to a fine powder with a coffee grinder then place it in a beaker and autoclave using a 20-minute dry.